Up to this point, we have over 20 approved therapies that help relapsing MS, meaning they reduce relapses and relapsing forms of MS. But at this point, we don't have any therapies that effectively slow the little by little progression we see in secondary progressive MS. So what's exciting to me about these results from the Hercules trial is that we finally have identified a therapy that slows progression of disability in a population of patients without relapses. So the non-relapsing secondary progressive MS population. These results are really important to me as a practicing neurologist because every day I see patients with secondary progressive MS for whom I have no treatments. They have gradual little by little decline in their walking function, in their arm function, in their cognitive function, and I really have no therapies to offer to them at this point. And this looks to have promise to be an effective therapy. I think the biggest takeaway is that we have finally identified a therapy that slows the insidious progression of secondary progressive MS, that little by little decline in function for which up to this point we've had no effective treatments. So finally we have hope to slow this form of the disease. The Gemini trials gave confirmation of what we saw in Hercules, in that although there was no reduction in the annualized relapse rate in the patients treated with talabrutinib versus teraflutamide, we did see a slowing of the disability progression. We saw a reduction in the proportion of patients with sustained progression of disability. And although that was a negative trial from the relapsing aspect, it was positive in slowing disability progression. And I think points to and confirms what we found in the Hercules trial of secondary progressive MS.